Okay, I'm going to attempt to do Jennings competition pitted uh, technique, but I doubt that it will work because I don't think I have the right kind of spray. This is the only color wash I have, and so I and I don't know if it has the mica in it. I doubt it, and so yeah, this probably won't won't work but I'm going to try it anyway and see what happens okay yeah. I'm going to use some red but I want to make it darker red so first I'm going to use some black Okay, not enough. Red, too much black. I'm running low on my paint, so I'm going to have to go to the art supply store soon. There we go, that's more what I was after. More of a maroon color. These are just cardboard from pizza boxes again. So this one will be this type of yellow. And a little bit of that type of red on one side. This one, actually this one, will be blue. And a little bit of black on one side. Okay, and that's more than a little bit. This one will start off blue, but it's going to have another color on top. Okay, I'm going to add some silver to this peace symbol. And this last one will be the mixture of the blue and silver. My my ink pad is my uh, Versamark is rather old, so it may not work as well. I would need it to for this project.
Mm, looks like it might be working pretty good, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and emboss these with this UT so that I can do most of that in one. Okay, my heat gun cord will not reach over here, so I'm going to go do this over there. And well, crap. I did not realize that my UT was white. I thought it was clear. But obviously it is not. <laughs> but if this technique works with what I have, this might actually work to my advantage. Now this is probably not thick stuff, but it is clear. So I'm going to do another coat with this and see what happens. So yeah, I'm just basically going to put some of this on there again and put some of the other kind of powder. And so, yeah, I don't think you need to watch me do this again. Okay, this is still warm. I really don't know if it's going to do anything. That's pretty. that with the heat gun and see what happens. Cool, it worked. That is so awesome. Okay, so I will show you what I'm going to do with the round ones soon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not right now. I'm going to let these dry a little bit first. A little bit more. Settle or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to show you what I'll do with these. And then... And I'll take pictures and stuff, but I'm so happy it worked. Okay, so yeah, aside, for, yeah, if the if my UT was clear stuff, it, this would have been much better, but. I had to work with what I have, and this, as I said, is the only color of color wash I have, so the other things I have are dilution sprays, and I doubt that, I don't know if those would work, but anyway. Uh
I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to use this perfect medium bullet. It's Is by that? Ranger and it's a, an embossing pen. And I'm going to do only some of it. and see what happens. Hmm. Looks like that pen doesn't work very good. Okay. Okay, it it did better than I thought it did. And it is sort of doing the effect I was after. I am going to use the clear powder on the rest. I mean over the top of all of it. But only the top part of the mushroom. Oh, looks like I got someone to Oh, maybe not. Okay, we'll see what happens with this. This is fun. A fun, playful thing. I am having a problem with the heat gun blowing these a around, so... <laughs> anyway, we'll see what can be done here. Okay, hopefully they're all still warm enough. It's okay if the red goes on the stem. Okay, this is how it looks when it's still wet. Okay, I just finished heat embossing it again, or heating it, and it's kind of neat what it did. It kind of, it almost, it, it's like it burnt it. <laughs> it's neat. I kind of like the effect it made. I will take close-up pictures and stuff. I just wanted to, to show you. It's kind of neat. It, it made a kind of like a marbly effect with the the two different types of embossing powders. Yeah, this was fun. That, uh, that's neat. I'm probably going to want to do this technique again. So, yeah. So here's a couple examples together. <laughs> Okay, 